Hello and welcome to the Alvatex channel. Today we will compare three models of Prospector 3 analyzers. Our basic model, the advanced model and the most powerful Max. We'll explore the features of each model, highlighting their capabilities and help you decide which one is the best for your needs. Let's start with the Prospector 3 Basic, it's the one with the blue color. This model is perfect fit for routine analysis tasks. It features a tungsten X-ray tube and a standard SDD detector, delivering accurate results for heavy elements like iron, copper and lead. Its fixed filter and collimator make it easy to operate, making it ideal for analysis large, uniform samples. The Prospector 3 Basic is perfect for quality control and metal sorting, however, its sensitivity to light elements is limited. This model is great for industries like metallurgy, jewelry and scrap sorting. Its simplicity and reliability make it a particular tool for routine analysis. Now let's move on to the Prospector 3 Advanced. This is the middling model of the Prospector 3 series. This model is versatile and designed for more complex materials. It comes with the rhodium tube and the enhanced SDD detector, allowing for analysis of both heavy and light elements like magnesium and aluminum. With automatic filter switching, this model adjusts to different materials, minimizing background noise and improving accuracy. The advanced model is ideal for analyzing building materials, ores and complex alloys where precision and flexibility are essential. It features dual collimators for analyzing both large samples and pinpoint areas like solder joints or inclusions. If you need a flexible tool for complex analysis, the Prospector 3 Advanced is the fantastic choice. Finally, let's look at the Prospector 3 MUX, our most powerful handheld tool, designed for the most demanding applications. It features a rhodium X-ray tube and the largest SDD detector in our lineup, capable of analyzing even light elements like sodium. The MAX model's automatic filters and collimator optimize it for complex tasks such as rare earth elements analysis and the multi-layer coatings. Its exceptional sensitivity allows it to handle material with low element concentrations, such as pharmaceuticals and food samples. The Prospector 3 MAX is the ultimate tool for professionals requiring maximum precision and flexibility. Each Prospector 3 model is designed for specific needs, basic for routine operations, advanced for complex materials, and max for the most challenging tasks. And now let's move to the practical part of our video, because we gonna analyze uh, some of the metal pieces, some of them has the light elements in it, some of them just a regular heavy elements, and we will analyze with all of our Prospector 3 series devices. And let's start with the basic model. Uh, so we pick, um, uh, pick one the blue color, this is usually goes as the basic model of the Prospector 3, and uh, let's just switch the calibration to alloys, because here we have the regular alloys. And start to analyze this sample. Uh, first of all, we will uncover it right away. This is the aluminum sample, mostly it has the aluminum here. Uh, but let's uh, look how the device will show it, how the basic device with the tungsten tube in it uh, will show uh, the result of it. So first of all, we point the device to the target. We also can see it on the camera here that our area was selected right. And now starting the analysis. 
All right, here we done. Uh, we set the duration of analysis for five seconds for all of our devices. And this will actually help us to spot the difference, even if it's a little one. Uh, so, first of all, here we have uh, some elements in it. And we have copper, we have iron, we have manganese, we have chromium. But the most importantly, that actually showing us is the... Uh, position that calls LE, so basically light elements. And here we got the results of 94.5%, so basically 94, 48. It means that uh, this uh, eggshell sample has the almost 95% of light elements that we unfortunately will, be, uh, will not be able to see with the basic device. But at least this device showing us that we should use the another kind of equipment. I mean, more powerful and with the rhodium tube. And now we're going to analyze the sample that has mostly uh, heavy elements in it. We already know it. Uh, so let's just show you how to do it and how the device will show the result of just a regular sample. All right, and here we have the result. And uh, as we actually expected, it showed us uh, only heavy elements because basically the sample consists of heavy elements. So here we have zinc and concentration of 93%. Then we have copper of a little bit more than six. Um, we also have lead. Um, we also have iron, some of it have nickel and manganese. So basically, this device showed us just a heavy elements as it should be. And now let's move on to the advanced model of our Prospector 3 series. This is actually our middling device in this series. And uh, well, we have two samples with only one difference as firstly, we will uh, measure the aluminum sample as it was with the previous Prospector 3 basic. And the second one is actually has some light elements, but it uh, consists, uh, it consists just in a small amount in it. While the first one, it consists mostly of the aluminum and magnesium. So let's move on and start with the first sample with the light elements mostly. So again, we just position the device, then we make a just a small corrections here with the actual cam camera. And now we can start the analysis. All right, and here we got the results of uh, our first sample. And if you remember, as it was with the Prospector 3 Basic, uh, first of all, it showed us the just light elements, not explaining which one is which, and actually just uh, providing us with the approximate amount of uh, light elements in uh, the sample. Here we got more information about the exact element, so let's take a closer look. Uh, first of all, we got aluminum in the amount of 93.21%. And then we have magnesium in amount of uh, 1 and 69%. So basically, a combination of these two elements uh, will provide us the exact 90, like almost 95% as uh, it appeared in our basic device, right? But now we know which exact the elements. So it's from light group, it's aluminum and magnesium. Then let's move on to some elements from heavy uh, metal group. And here we have copper uh, in amount of 3.7%. Then we have iron and actually all other elements, including iron, are below uh, one. So we will not uh, just uh, touch him, just uh, mention him. So we have iron, manganese, uh, we have chromium, titanium, we have zinc, all right, and moving on to our second sample with just a bit of amount of uh, light elements in it, all right, so we position in our device for the sample, again, uh, double checking it with the camera as we targeted everything correctly, and we have the exact area we need to analyze, and starting the analysis. 
All right, and here we got the result. Uh, again, so uh, basically, this alloy consists on 83% uh, from zinc. Uh, then we have the aluminum, it's actually the light element, and it appears in amount of 10.5, like 10 and 4%. Uh, then we have copper. We have here uh, antimony, again, it's just a little amount of 0.3. And actually all our other elements are below one. So we have here silicon, we have here lead, we have here iron and we have here nickel. Also the another features as actually goes as additional for advanced and max model is the uh, availability of switching the collimator. So let's take a closer look and again if you press the uh, button which actually uh, showing the camera uh, you can see here two options of targeting. First one is four millimeters and second one is two millimeters. So you can choose the, the option that actually will fit to your analytical test and the size of your sample. And after you just switch it, you press OK and then press the targeting button again. So just to make sure that you uh, switch the right one. And now we are finally moving to the most powerful device of our handheld series. And yes, I'm talking about both uh, series, Prospector 2 and actual Prospector 3. This is the Prospector 3 Max and it also has some additional feature that I will uncover later. But now let's just take uh, two measurements to spot the difference and uh, that we would be able to explain you where actually the difference and what what is the real precision so let's start with it and again taking our first sample with uh, aluminum base and switching the right calibration with actually uh, which actually is alloys all right so we here in alloy mode let's just uh, set it for five seconds of duration and start our analysis all right, here we go, and we have the results of our first sample. So again, uh, we have aluminum in concentration of 93%, uh, or just a bit uh, more, like 93.08. Uh, then we have uh, magnesium here uh, in amount of 1.5%. Uh, so, and also this device showed us just a bit of uh, silicon that actually exists in this sample, uh, which is actually 0.29%. So combining uh, those uh, combining uh, those three elements, we definitely will receive uh, the same 95% uh, of light elements in it. But also we have just a, some, we spotted a little trace of the silicon. So it means that it also appear in the, this sample, but in just a small concentration here. So the Prospector 3 uh, Advanced wasn't really able to spot it, but the Prospector 3 Max as the most powerful, has the, uh, the most powerful tube and the better uh, detector, I mean the the shape, uh, the size of the detector, uh, it's actually showed us that uh, there's this, uh, another light element exists, the number three in this sample. Uh, then we have close almost the same data here because we have the copper in amount of 365 percent, then we have iron and actually all other uh, elements are below one, so we just we will just name them. Uh, we have iron, we have manganese, we have zircon, we have chromium, titanium and zinc. So all, all of them appear in this sample. And now let's move on to our second sample with the just a little trace of light elements in it. All right. Again, uh, switching the right calibration for it. Then we just point in the device to the sample, making sure that it's the surface attaching it fully and press the start oh. and then we press in the start or the trigger, it's up to you. 
All right, and here we go. We also have the results of our second sample, and it showed us, again, the think is ba uh, the base of think. Uh, it's 82%, uh, 82.7. Then we have aluminum, the second element of the concentration, the amount of concentration in this uh, sample. It's 11.2%. Uh, then we have copper, 5.81% uh, and some other elements below zero. So it's basically um, silicon here, we have uh, silicon, lead, uh, manganese, nickel, and uh, what actually here uh, can be easily spotted is the amount of errors. Because on the Prospector 3 Max, the errors are for most alloys and for most uh, of our calibrations, the errors are really small and sometimes it can get up to two zeros, uh, means 0, 0.0 something. So we have here 0 0.05, 0 0.08, 0 0.04, which is actually like really, really small errors. And as I promised earlier, we will uncover just one little but very structural and very functional difference between the Prospector 3 Advanced and Prospector 3 Max. Uh, with the first look, it seems like it's two absolutely the same devices, looking of their shape, uh, their body and all this stuff. But one little difference is the availability for Prospector 3 Max to um, make actually the helium purge. What does it mean? Uh, first of all, helium will allow you to analyze elements starting from sodium. So you also have one additional element, which actually is really, really hard to analyze uh, in all other kind of analysis. But here we got the additional feature for it. And uh, this uh, actually, this is this perch allowing helium to go to the nose of the device where actually located the uh, our tube and detector, and uh, creating the special atmosphere for uh, making the analysis of sodium. So even this small and actually hard to find feature. Uh, providing you the analytical advances uh, for additional element and for actually uh, the overall precise analysis. If you want to learn more about our devices, contact our managers for details. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more useful content. Stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.